What's going on, Tiger Tran clan? So we just made it to Okren's Valley, and I was wondering if these two guys, these two factions, were going to actually brawl. Maybe not. I think they're actually allied. Yeah, it's High Paladins. Interesting. Dude. So I've never been to the desert biome before. Like, the straight-up legit desert. Like, look at it. It's actually like rolling sand dunes. This is really cool. I like it. What are these guys? Escaped Servants. Holy Nation Outlaws. I feel like these guys are probably going to brawl if they get close. Let's, let, uh, but it doesn't look like they actually are. Hmm. All right. I wouldn't be surprised if they would attack us. That's one thing that's kind of hard about this game is you never kind of know, like, who will attack who. A last drone. No faction. He's patrolling. Patrolling for what? We can't talk to him, though, right? I think the Holy Nation will attack this guy, though. Because I don't think they like Rubutsu. Oh, that's so interesting. I don't understand why these paladins aren't attacking anything. Oh, wow. This drone actually has some terrible... He has no faction. Do you think he has items? What does he look like? There's a part of me that wants to fight him mostly for our skill to get up. Let's let's actually do it. I feel bad picking on this. Oh, wait, no. He's a drone? So he's a... Oh, I thought he was a robot. He's actually a bug person. And he just looks like he has a bow staff. Alright, I'm not going to do it. I feel bad just picking on some random guy who's just walking through. He's just a lonely dude. It would have been cool if we could recruit him, potentially. I would pay you in delicious foul meat. Oh, what are those? Ugh. Bone dogs. Alright, let's, let's veer to the right because we do not want to get ganked by a bunch of bone dogs. Ooh! Oh, but it's a ruin farm. Well, let's go look. Ooh, did they? No, it always looked like that. But the sky, man, looks great. Who's this? Dude, there's just like so much battle that goes on over here. I love it. Paladin versus Samurai Conscript. Oh, wow. This Samurai Conscript is giving this dude a, a beatdown. Maybe he was actually attacked in, in the past as well. Ooh, I kind of want to watch this fight. Polearm versus... A hacking weapon. Oh, boy, got wreckified. That is surprising. Unless he was already pre-injured. That, that's the only thing that I could think that it might potentially be. Come on, Kristen Jr., you can make it. Okay, we got a feeder again. We'll do it once we get to this guy's gear. Speed it up. I wonder if we can get to him before he wakes up. I feel like... Oh, he's dying. I wonder what happens, like, if I was to medic this guy, right? Like, what would happen? Oh my gosh, he has heavy armor. Oh, you don't know how bad I want this, but I, I don't want to turn into a criminal. Oh, that's interesting. It's like missing some... Yeah, see, it's all faction armor. Decent, but not great. Water jug. I do, I would like if they put thirst in this game. I think it would be a cool mechanic. Hmm. All right, well, we are strapped for space right now. Come, Kristen Jr. You know what we will do? Is we're going to medic this guy, mostly to get our medicking skill up. And we have this terrible first aid kit anyways. Hopefully it uses this one before using this one. It does look like it, right? But it's always good to get your first aid skill up. And we'll probably bump into a bunch of uh, medkits. Did this person actually have No, he didn't. He might have actually used it already. Paladin, one of your friends was was kind to me. He he uh, gave me a delicious meal when I was hungry. So I shall repay the favor. Here you go, Kristen Jr. I love the AI, dude. She just runs right over. Nom, 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 nom. Uh, all right. Well, he's in a recovery coma. This is good. This is good for now. It's like one of those things where it, I wish the if the game was a little bit more. Oh, oh, wait, what is this? It's a wolf. Is it just one? We might attack this. It's a lone nut. How much health does so she is 71, 71. Ugh! I think she has some pretty beefy stats. Ugh, and we're kind of heavy. 
there's a part of me that is thinking like maybe we throw our heavy gear on the ground and I think that's actually what we're going to do because I want to fight this wolf. And there's actually beds over here. I wonder if I can sleep in them. Whose beds are these? Is this like a camp? Huh. Who does this belong to? <gasps> Wait, cost to use zero. Okay, so it's just like a ruined farm. Can you buy these buildings? No. That would be so cool if I could. I don't know if you have to be like friendly with the faction or how any of that works. But man, we have just gotten so unlucky with finding an actual place to where we can sell goods, which is kind of bumming me out. All right, let's get close to this doge, though. Oh, he's not even considered hostile yet. It'd be so cool if you could tame pets like the dog Whisperer and I could give him some bug meat and then he'd become my my friend. All right, so we're going to throw this on the ground. We'll throw this on the ground. Throw this terrible rod on the ground. Basically, like, we'll just... Basically anything, really. Minus... How much? How heavy are these? Dang, one kilo for a tooth? Holy cow. What are these teeth made out of? All right, perfect. So we'll be lightweight now. And let's hope that this fool doesn't pwn us. He shouldn't. Oh, he might, though. Uh, this is how oh, we just got an auto save. It's like, hey. Oh, we're, but we're playing this Iron Man style. Oh, this might be a terrible idea because he might maul us while we sleep. All right, so he's got eight attack. Oh, wait, what? So when you're a little low nut guy, look at our defense. Oh, it's because this weapon's defense is through the roof, huh? Wait, why is our defense so high? I mean, we just get a plus two. All right. Okay, well, let's let's do it. I'm feeling adventurous. I almost want Kristen Jr. to go in first, though, because Kristen Jr. can't medic us. You know what I mean? But we can medic Kristen Jr. Oh, but what if he brawls our limbs? Oh, my gosh. This could be terrible. Okay. Come on. Oh, what? He just landed a clean strike. <gasps> and Kristen Jr. went down in one hit? <gasps> and I went down in one hit. Oh, that was not the play. Okay. Wow. Well, I think it made our toughness go up. So note to self, never, ever, 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 ever. Ever, 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 ever. Oh, was I still in block and hold? Well, hold didn't matter. Block did. That's why my defensive skill was so high. When you start the game, it puts you on block. That's weird. I never had set him to block. I remember it being on hold, but I didn't remember him being on block. All right, so we got to get up and we got to save Kristen Jr.'s life here. Yeah, the dude got so lucky. He just, like, pounded our chest, like, instantly. Wait. <gasps> Are you kidding? We're dying and we're not going to get up. Oh my gosh. All right. So this will be the one time that we load. <laughs> oh my goodness. Holy cow. I still can't believe that dog. It, I didn't think he was going to just be able to. I mean, his stats weren't that much crazy higher than ours, but I didn't think he was going to be able to one shot Kristen Jr. and one shot me. That is absurdity, dude. Because I was like, okay, well, we've got beds over here, right? We're not even, like, malnourished or anything like that. All right. So let's get all this delicious loot and get out of here. I'm sorry, Mr. Wolf. I'll never even look at you. Um, hmm. I just, I have no idea where to go. I feel like... Well, I have no idea where to go. Uh, well, let's head south for now. And we're, we'll just switch them to moving at the same speed. No, don't move. All right, we'll go this way, actually. <laughs> I want nothing to do with that, bro. Holy cow, dude. That was absurd. I do enjoy this game, though. I like the fact that we were able to... You know, forge some animals, get some food. 
We're living like that scavenger life. We really need to buy some armor. The fact that that dot. Oh my gosh. All right, so we got a lost crone, but I think this is a bunch of wolves, right? Wait. Yeah, a bunch of wolves hiding over here. <gasps> Birth basic first aid kit. But dang, dude, these bone dogs. I think I was used to fighting those bone dogs when we had six members, and I don't think their gear was ever that good. Ugh. How's Kristen Jr. doing? Can you eat yet? Let's let's see. I know the arrow's still pointing up, but I'm this is kind of interesting me. Will you eat this? No. Okay. Good to know. So only when the arrow is down. <gasps> this hive guy. What are you doing, bro? Do you not know? Do you not know the stats? I guess this guy was basically like us. Oh, it's a pup. He might be able to take a pup. <gasps> oh, no. Is Mama Mama Wolf coming? I was going to actually come and help him, but... Oh, no, dude. You, you're, you're pwned, bro. You are so pwned. Look at this adult. This guy, this adult was even stronger than the other adult. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Mr. Bugman. You did, boy. All right. So there was a med kit over here, but how many, were there other wolves? I don't see any. Oh, yeah. There's some ones hanging out over here. I like it, man. It's like a little. All right. Let's just, let's not monkey with this. Not worth one, uh, one med kit. Not even slightly worth. Dude, I still can't believe that wolf one-shot us. Holy cow. I knew wolves were strong, but I didn't think they were one-shot strong. That makes me excited for Kristen Jr. when she gets bigger. Okay, Kristen Jr. can eat now. So once we stop moving here, have some foul meat. And then we'll continue on. Hmm... I do like this biome. Who's fighting over there? <gasps> Okren's Fist! Yes! Finally, we found a, a place. I've never been to Okren's Fist either. Who's fighting over here? Oh, there's even some mineables. Wait, what? It just showed me something was mineable. Because I think in this playthrough, it'll be a minute before... Oh, okay. So who's this? An escape servant outlaw. Two of them. Hmm. Dang, they got some solid stats, but they've also taken a beating. Well, these guys... All right. <laughs> I know. I want to play this Iron Man style, but... Uh, I was wondering if these guys will attack me. And these guys are weak, so I'm kind of really willing to risk it. So, is this a faction? Yeah. All right. I'm not going to monkey. This guy... I feel bad for you. Your friend's like, peace, bro. I think it's because he's on defend... So let's go into Okren's Fist over here, and let's see if we can sell some goods. Because we have been full forever in a day. Has our strength actually gone up? It has. Nice. So I had four. Let's go, Kristen Jr. We finally made it to a refuge. We finally found uh, the Arb of Okren. We finally found a place to lie our heads. That, well, is it next to a wolf? Divine blessings, brother. Is he actually going to talk to us? No. Okay. So let's find... Okay. Can you not... Can't enter there. It's got a little sign. Oh, a little food shop. Let's go in here. So we might as well start selling some of our stuff. Hello, Gobna. I've come with some terrible items. Ooh. I love the new images that they made. So beautiful. Ooh, yeah. Cook veggies. Food cube. Dried meat, I remember, is what I would usually buy because it's so cheap. So cheap. All right. So we're going to sell combat cleavers. We'll always find more. I almost want to sell these terrible pantaloons. They don't actually protect you, though it'll expose my bojangles to the world. But we're in the, we're in the, we're in the desert. I think we'll be okay. Uh, we'll sell this leather. We've got foul meat for K10, which is good. We still have enough food to be able to feed ourselves. Hmm. There's a part of me that wants to sell this, mostly because oh, it's only it's got 25 units. I I was just thinking about space, dude. I like this weapon though. Thing's beefy. Wait, what's the bonus damage to? Is it bonus damage to robots? Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, they don't like them robots. All right, so we're good on food, though, which is nice. Why are we still so heavy? Or slow, I guess. Oh, maybe we're moving at the speed of Kristen Jr., and Kristen Jr. is just a wee pup. She's just a wee pup. She's just a little one. All right, so there was a food store, which is good. So at least we can buy, you know, food. I was hoping that there was an armor vendor or some kind of other vendor. But I don't see anything. I was almost hoping that there was a bar, too, because that would be nice to be able to... I just want to use their training dummies, but I don't think they'll let me. Workers 1, max skill. Yeah, I don't think we can. I think it's for aesthetics only. All right, so this is just like a little camp with food, it looks like. Hmm. Now, the question becomes is, do we try to find some copper and just mine for a minute and try to make some cash money? Because we are pretty dang poor right now, and we will need to be able to buy some armor. Hmm. Ocrins Valley. I don't actually see any copper or anything. But usually it's towards the mountains, right? Well, it can be anywhere, but... Oh, I was trying to, like, look up into this path. Okay. So it's just, like, a something that, like, protects the mountains, it looks like. Where? Dang, dude. K-10 eats, like, a straight-up Hossasaurus. Okay. Hmm. I remember if you talk to the the animal traders, because that's how you can actually get animals in this game. Hey, what's that? Oh, I trolled. I totally thought that was some ore. Because normally you find some ore up in these these mountainous areas. Look at these guys. Hopefully not banditos. Holy, our high paladins. Hmm. I remember there was copper. Wait, oh, there we go. There's a node. But what, I think this is iron. And iron is does not sell as well as copper does. All right, let's speed it up here. We need to just get our athleticism up. I do just love how the how organic the worlds are and like all these factions are running around. Oh, people are brawling. Let's go. Right next to the node as well. Who's fighting who? I love seeing these fights, man. I think it's the coolest thing on the planet. Ooh, starving bandits versus paladin. Dude, this paladin is shrekking, dude. I don't like bandits. Uh I mean, obviously, well, I want their life. I kind of want their items. This, I, Like, a part of me wants to attack them just to get our skill up. Because I think they'll be easy eats with uh, them being on the ground. Plus, I mean, bandits will actually, like, aggro on us. Not always, but most of the time. So, hmm. Let's actually give these... Hi, Paladin. You, you're no Ochre Knight. What reason would an unholy one have to creep in the holy notion, a holy nation's dominion? Did the dark demoness herself send you, heretic? Oh, so it's automatically this guy does not like me. Wait, you've got it all wrong. I'm not your enemy. I can pay you, don't attack. I feel like that wouldn't work because this guy seems like he's pretty devout. I want to chat about the black arts. Definitely not. So I'm going to say, wait, you've got it all wrong. I'm not your enemy. The Lord Okrin teaches forgiveness of pure-blooded brethren or brothers. So I will be patient with you for now, worm. Now answer me. Who is it that you serve? Speak. Not the skeletons. They hate the skeletons. I'm without a lord. I serve only me, no one else. I serve the light. Praise to Okrin, who I don't actually know. Who that is i serve the sword to protect those in protection from harm this is probably the most realistic option for me i don't want to lie and say that i serve ochre and i don't even know that is but i do i would protect some like i'm gonna go beat these bandits down 
And those bandits would, you know, brawl anybody. How arrogant to reply to your own moral judgment of who needs protection from who. For the good of the planet, the judgment of a heretic cannot be trusted. Uh, then, oh, look at this. Then guide me in your holy ways. Our brothers will always be welcome. Our, our brothers will always be welcome within the holy nation. Let us guide you in the way of the light, lost one. Put your sword to a higher cause. Head to the city. You will find a holy mission there. Hmm. What city, though? Okay. Well, that didn't help me very much. Just being like, head to a city. It's like, uh, what? So wait, what happens? Will this guy get mad at me for attacking these banditos who are on the ground? I'm kind of interested. Is this guy beating them down too? Oh yeah, we all are beating these guys down. Bad bandits. Go to sleep. No, let me strike. Aww. I don't, I don't think I'm going to get skill up. Wait, did I hit once? No, stop telling. Aww. I just wanted to get my skill up, guys. You rebuttals. Let's see. Ooh, standard grade. Right, isn't that funny? You know, in the other game, we're wearing uh, masterwork gear, and I'm over here being like, ooh, rag shirt. But it's standard quality rag shirt, so it gives me 12% blunt protection. Let's go. And this actually sells pretty well. I mean, obviously, like these pants. Oh, man. I feel like pants should give you some AC. I mean, it's not like they, like, like, I mean, think about, like, getting rug burn. Jeans at least help you with rug burn. Shoddy, shoddy. They sell for 26, but they're too big. Are these guys, like, knocked out? We will take their their clubs, because their clubs sell pretty decently, if I remember correctly. They did reduce the price of all weapon cells, which was kind of a bummer. I was really hoping that we could find some med kits. Wait, could Kristen Jr. feast upon the blood of the enemies? She should be able to. I mean, dogs can eat people in real life. That'd be so cool if you could have Kristen Jr. maul on these fools. Says she's malnourished. Hmm. All right, well, we're going to take all these pipes. I wonder if any of these guys will actually get up and we can brawl them. How bad is your beating? Recovery coma. Unconscious for 14 seconds. Unconscious for 6. Okay. Wait, what's this guy's stats? So he's got a really beat up stomach. A lot of these guys have taken a massive whoopage. All right. Uh, I will actually brawl with these bros. Or at least, because, yeah. Because we've got a real solid sword. We got Kristen Jr. here ready to wally. Wally mop. Bite some, some groins. Wait, recovery coma. Wait, it said that he was going to be unconscious, and then... Oh, interesting. Maybe that's what happens with the AIs in this game. It said that he was going to get up in six seconds, but then he didn't. Wait. Who are you going after, Kristen Jr.? Wait, where are you going? Playing... Wait, playing limbs? What does that mean? Does that mean she's going and, like, eating an arm or something? I have no idea. Wait, what are they fighting over here? Ooh, this is perfect. Yeah, dude. Come over here and help with this bone dog. We need revenge from when that bone dog murdered Chris and Jr. and I. Wait, I have no idea what you're doing here. Playing limbs. Oh, does she have a limb in her mouth, actually? She does. That's crazy, dude. I don't even know what that means. All right, let's go back over this way. Dude, her stats are absolutely turds. Ooh. I wonder if this guy will one-shot. I mean, I don't think he does blunt damage. I think he... Okay, cool. I'm all about this life. I said I'm all about this life, and my Google... <laughs> my Google Home just thought that I was talking to her. All right, let's see. So, teeth, meat... Um... We're going to do this, and I think we'll have K-10 hang out around here. Gosh, that. We'll even throw this one out, uh, and this one. And then we'll grab this. We'll grab this meat. Man, I wish there was some way that I could...
pick up this last piece. So we're going to grab this. Mostly because now it's on the ground. So Kristen Jr. is playing. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so weird. We're going to go over here. And at least now Kristen has like a bunch of food. I don't know what playing. So she's just like bopping around. I don't mean you can have fun. Just don't get killed. But let's have Tiger go over here. And then we will mine a bit. All right, I'm just going to keep a real good eye on her and just make sure we don't get ganked. Because if this makes her, like, age up faster, that'd be great. All right, so now she's aimless. And they're fighting another doge. Hmm. I don't know if dogs stats up by fighting. I would assume that they do, right? Well, look at this. She has katana skill. <laughs> I would assume that she does. Yeah, she has to. I'm spooked, though, to have her fight a, a dog. Because if she just even gets cleave attacked, man, she could get knocked out in, like, one hit again. But there's a part of me that wants her to... No, I'm going to wait for her to at least be an adult. What are, you, what are you fetching? Another arm? Oh, yeah, severed human limb. Does she eat it? I don't know. So we know that leather sells really well. But we're already kind of full. You know, I really wish we could put, like, a backpack on Kristen and have her, like, bring goods back to the city, but we can't. All right. So, okay. Oh, man, look at their arms. They actually got decapitated and things. Oh, there's all that raw meat. All right, so we're going to have K-10 come over here. Just hang out by the raw meat for now while Tiger... I'm just having bang away at some iron for a minute. What's her stats at from a... See, look, he went on block again. Isn't that interesting? I, I didn't have him on block. I wonder if I'm hitting a hotkey or something, but I'm only using I. So we got our medic skill up to two. Our labor skills, absolute buns. But thankfully, we got a lot of good items. Oh my gosh, playing limbs. I guess she is a puppy. But that's what's going to do it for this video. Thankfully, we got a lot of spoils. We'll probably mine probably until this node is maxed out uh, off camera. And then we'll come back and we'll at least have some goods that we'll be able to sell. Hopefully, Kristen grows up to be not just a pup, but an adult. That'll be really helpful. And thankfully, we'll probably make some decent amount of money. And then hopefully that means that we can potentially recruit some more people or at least buy some better armor. Both are very much needed. I mean, we've got a solid weapon, which is dope. But beyond that, we definitely need some love in the other departments. All right, guys, this has been Tiger Tran, and I will see you guys next time.